with the bleach <coughs> bacteria cleaner. I feel free lightheaded. Maybe I shouldn't be cooking. Hey guys, tonight is a night. That's right, we're cooking with Komar. Come on now. Cooking with Komar in the kitchen. And everything starts with a C because it's Komar. It's Bomar. No. Bomar. No, don't even try it. Booking with Bomar in the bitch. <laughs> Booking with Bomar. That's a K. I can, I can say K's. No C's. C's. Bandis. Hey, Bandis. C's is all I do. Hey, Bandis. Double C, Candace Craig, what up? Bandis Bragg. Bandis yes. Bragg in this bitch. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be using, but shit. Clean. Mm -hmm. All right, let's run it up. Hey, guys, what's up? You're welcome. <laughs> What's up guys, it's your girl Candace, and that's right, you're here right now in my kitchen with the one and only Omar. It's our kitchen, but I be spending the most time here because I be doing them dishes. <laughs> she be doing them dishes. Alright, chill, chill. You need dishes. to do more dishes, then that's mm -hmm. the problem. You I'll guess. stick to taking out the trash and buying groceries. Mm, well. Mm, 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 mm. You want to switch, oh, 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 switch rolls? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So what are we making? So today, Omar decided to go vegan. Vegan. He decided to go vegan, and I have to just join because I'm not gonna make two separate kinds of meals. She ain't got no choice. I don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. So therefore, Omar went yesterday, Omar and I both went yesterday to, to Trader, Trader Joe's, Joe's, and we decided to pick up a few lentils, some legumes. Legumes. Uh, legumes with a U. Legume. With a U. And also, we picked up some mushrooms, we picked up some kale, kale, and we picked up some peppers, Bell peppers, some um, other pe some habanero garlic, peppers, um, some onions. We picked up a vegan vibe, this is what we did. A whole vegan vibe. A whole vegan vibe. And so, what we're gonna do tonight, I'm gonna try to attempt... <sighs> Bake out. Just a non-functional zipper. Okay. Bake out. All right. First of all, it's nighttime, so... Yes, we need to hurry up. This, this is, is the night we routine. Do. We just finished the workout, and now it's time to cook enough food for the week. Hopefully at least three days with this growing 12-year-old boy. What can I say? I work out hard. So anyways. So, yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm going to make the red lentils, okay? I'm making a red lentil stew, but it's not going to be a stew. It's more going to be just like beans that you can yeah. serve over white rice and or I can't mm -hmm. eat rice because I'm trying to go carb-free or sourdough. Mm -hmm. He can eat it though. I'm going to tear that shit up. Okay, so what I'm doing, mm -hmm. I know you are. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I already put some red lentils in there. We got hungry. We couldn't wait for you guys. Sorry. We just, we're I'm trying to get this whole situation. Babe, can you back away, back away from the lentils? Thank you very much. Go ahead and get your garbanzo beans. Start to cook in. So I'm gonna just give you the rundown of what I'm doing with these goddamn red lentils. What I'm doing is, since I'm making the red lentils, I put a little bit of avocado oil. That's the plug, you guys. That's the way. You get this big bottle from Costco instead of at Whole Foods. This bottle costs the same thing you would get at Whole Foods for something half the size. Shout out to Whole Foods, anyways. If you guys want to sponsor us, we're here for it. We're here for put it. Put a little bit of olive, uh, avocado oil into the pan. Stir it up real nice. Added some chopped garlic, like so. garlic bay <laughs> and I also added a whole bunch of random spices that I found from an African dish that I love that when I was in Atlanta shooting the movie Honey I was eating African food and they use all these natural spices something like organic ginger ground ginger parsley cayenne pepper something I cannot pronounce I'll wait. Fun. Yep, that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of garlic, just because. It's not even open. You know what? I'm too lazy. Oh, here it is. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. More garlic powder, okay? Ah, oh, I forgot we added garlic already. Whatever. So, I like to cook. <laughs> kind of just like look at it, kind of feel the vibe. If you could smell what was coming out of this pot right now, you would fall in love too. Over on this side of the kitchen, we have Omar Bay. Omar is king of the garbanzo beans, so I'm gonna let him take it away. I'm going, I'm sticking with what I know. I've already been doing garbanzo bean dish for like two and a half years now. Um, it's a staple and I guess how we eat around here we don't use meat. So I'm, I'm gonna run with that. So what I'm gonna start with is these red onions, a full habanero pepper, um, a bunch of plum tomatoes. I need some garlic. Still some garlic from Candace. I typically like to use cilantro, but they didn't have any. So I went with another herb and parsley, just to kind of give me that uh, that taste that I'm looking for. It's gonna be a little bit slightly different, but parsley will definitely get the job done. It's like, what the is that about? No cilantro? Come on, fam. So if you guys are one of those people that think cilantro tastes like soap, leave it down in the comments. 
God damn it, back up, god damn it. <laughs> a lot of people mm. wonder how I do anything with nails. And this is how you do it, guys. It's years of practice, my nails were longer, but look, I could do anything. When you're a real woman, you could do anything. You could be womanly and cook like a real chef. Okay? Heard you. Heard me. <laughs> Right there that is fire yeah so this is going in the garbanzo beans okay so what i did before you guys got here i opened these two cans of garbanzo beans i rinsed them out you want to rinse it you just want to rinse it okay throw these in the pot with some vegan butter and some cayenne pepper so next i'm gonna make some asparagus i'm gonna go ahead and heat up some of that avocado oil excuse me lord don't get in my way now just trying to operate in this kitchen. Oh, shit. What? You know what you're doing? No. All these goddamn beans. Did I mess it up? I don't know. Oh, no. That's how it's supposed to look. The key to cooking, if you don't like to cook from home, because you like to eat out and you don't like to clean up, the key is start cleaning while you're cooking. Mm -hmm. It will save you time. It will save you energy so that after you eat, all you got to do is worry about those damn pots. That's it. See? Boom. Keeping it clean over here. Mind you, we're not real chefs. We're real people that like to eat real food. This is what we do in this household. Okay? Okay. If you're wondering who cooks better, from the looks of things, I want you guys to be the ones to decide. I want you to tell us who you think is the Comar cook of the house. I know what my answer is. All I know is that on our third date, Omar and I decided to cook some pasta with a live lobster. That's right, a real one. I think we need to bring back the tapes. We gotta find those tapes, babe. And that's low key what made me like start to really like him. I was like, mm, I think I can, think I can cook alongside my life partner. I think that this could work. When he, when he threw, the minute he started cooking, I was like, that's my man. He don't even know it yet. <laughs> Cooked for her on the first day. She never went home. Hello, babe. It wasn't the first day, so stop it. You know what I mean. I am sauteing some kale, some mushrooms, and some garlic, and some avocado oil. Sprinkled a little lemon on there. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. Call it a day. Omar's gonna eat the sourdough because he's allowed to have carbs right now. I'm always on a non-carb diet, so. I'm never on a non-carb diet. Right. Never. I think these lentils have been done. I mean, if they're not ready yet, I don't know what to say. Can I get some salt and pepper, please? Salt and pepper, come right up! So, if you guys haven't figured it out, we got the bell peppers here because we're going to make some stuffed bell peppers. We're going to stuff them with the garbanzo beans and the kale and the mushrooms and the garlic and have some lentils on the side with asparagus. Oh, I'm excited, all right. Whoa! That is a very filling meal with no meat. All the good things you need that'll help you succeed in the morning. Now me and Omar are kind of different when we're cooking. I'm a taster while you make her, and he's a wait till the end and see how you did. I'm not really trying to see how we did at the end. I like to know in the moment. Confident in my wrists. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. I'm confident too, but guess what? How many times have I done this <coughs> and I fucked it up? Every time. She's lying. I can't believe you just both face lie like that. That's crazy. That's wild. I've never messed up. All I'm saying is that when I'm hungry, I like to taste and go. You see this full fridge full of veggies? I mean, full of fruits and veggies. Don't mind our vegetable pasta from last night, but. What are you doing? I thought you said you got some competency. <laughs> I was trying to throw my dreads in your face. Except you do your nails on my skin. It's good. Go in it for a second. <laughs> do we need some lemon? Do we need some lemon? Seriously? Can't taste all that citrus? 
Oh yeah, I'll taste it. Mm. It's in there. Easy way to stay vegan around here. Can you back up off of me, dog? Back up, back up, back up, back up. Ooh, ghosty, sit, please. Good boy. Thank you so much. I would say give me power, but speak. Ghost, I want you to speak. Speak. Ghost, I want you to speak. Me, bro, you like butternut squash? God damn yeah. it. Every shot, I'm sure it has been. Okay, so now, now it's time to stuff them. Stuff that bell pepper now. <laughs> stuff it, I need you to stuff, stuff it. it. Okay, first we're gonna start with the legumes. We're gonna take a little bit from the pot now here, and we're gonna load it in, let that thing drip on in there. Yes, yes, all the way deep. Don't, do Should not, do not do what I just did. All right, well. That's why I wanted to do it. it. It's okay, you know what, we're gonna reverse that. Reverse, reverse. Slip, slip, slip. Oopsie, don't drop the don't drop the pepper. Go ahead and eat put, the legumes. Put the kale in here. But I'm gonna put the kale in first now. I'm gonna clean this plate right on up. Sometimes you gotta wrench it. Sometimes you gotta wrench it. So, first, I'm gonna rewind everything I just did because it was wrong. Now we're gonna do it right. That's right. We're gonna load it in with the kale. kale Stuff and it. Kale and mushrooms. Stuff it. Kale and mushrooms. Do not make a mess like I did. Do not. We're gonna start fresh on this one. See if we can do it right. Get it in the hole. Get it. God damn it. Couldn't get it in the hole. God damn it. All right. Struggling over there. Struggle city. But we're gonna make it work. Cause guess what? It's gonna be damn good. Oh, we know that. I'm gonna stuff them up a little bit more, you guys. Like, honestly, yeah, stuff at your own pace. I like kale and I like mushrooms and I like beans. So we're gonna just stuff the hell out of it. Yes, honey. All right, now time to bring it on back to the goodies. Go ahead and stuff the beans right on in there. Mm, 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 mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this fork here on that, and I'm gonna go ahead and let these asparagus lay right on the side so it looks like one of those expensive restaurants. Nice and neat, now. Nah. You lay it on the side right there. I wish I had a little bit of paprika. We could add it on the side. Oops. <laughs> okay, so I put a little bit of asparagus on the side. I know Omar's hungry, so I'm gonna put a little bit more for him on the disheveled plate. <laughs> we cook for now and we cook for later. That's what you call As meal prep should. and a dinner. As we should. Just being efficient with our time. Load it on in there, just like that, over yonder. <laughs> There's definitely something down there. Oh no. I'm not going to get it. Me neither. What's up? You a bitch. <laughs> Meal prepping continues. Go ahead and stuff it just like you did them damn be bell peppers. Gotta stuff it. The party never ends. We are actively looking for a chef, a house chef. So if you know someone. Preferably that knows vegan recipes. Vegan recipes and vegetarian and carbless. I'm We're also really close to our giveaway. Oh yeah. Once we hit that 15 subscribers. 15K, we you, doubled. We need y'all to keep subscribing. It's right. Baby, you ready to eat? Yes, I am. Come on. Gotta cook and clean. Make sure this shit is right. They don't like waking up to a dirty ass kitchen. That is trash. Hate it. Hate it. <laughs> Let's eat. Give me pop. Dear, Dear Lord. Lord. Amen. So tonight, drum roll please. Our final dish is a here presenting the bell pepper with the stuffed garbanzo beans, sauteed kale and mushrooms and asparagus on the side. Just light, not too much. The portion is the size of our fist. Every portion should be like that when you're eating one, two, and usually there's three, but tonight it's not that kind of a night, honey. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Let's Please. do a taste test. Please. Mm. Now that's damn good. Tasty. That's damn good. I need another. That's tasty. I'm getting to this bell pepper. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. You like that? Mm -hmm. How'd that come out, babe? That's good. I like to split it in half. Mm, I want some of that kale. Exactly. Bottom. So look, that's why I split it in half. So you gotta have um, a method to the madness. Look at that. Uh, wow. Mind let's blown. See. Let's see. <coughs> no, this is a vegan meal right here. Damn it, I lost everything. 
Hey, you, you know what you need to do? You need to tighten up, okay? Uh, right there is bomb. Wow, 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 wow. It's got damn hair everywhere. Right? Ghost. Fresh so clean, but shedding everywhere. I don't know about y'all, but I could be vegan if I eat like this every night. Oh, you're gonna be. Oh, you don't have a choice. Why? Why do I have to be vegan when you're vegan? How's that fair? Well, you don't have to. Just know that you're gonna have to cook twice. Oh. So, choice is yours. No, I'd just rather be clean. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. First episode of Cooking with Komar. We had a great experience. Told you guys, hopefully, a couple different recipes or different ideas to help you in the kitchen. If you're on a plant-based or vegan diet, guess what you can do? It's like, comment, and subscribe. Tell him about the, the bell. I don't know what he says when he says that. Hit the right bell button on the right side. Top right hand corner. That. Click that to receive notifications every time we post a video. And that's it. Until next time, y'all.